Board members, the boardroom is open and we're playing Hexplore It Volume 1 with Pepper Pants the Gnome Tinkersmith, Oriya the Angelborn Guardian, and Thonk the Ogre Berserker as we campaign through the Valley of the Dead King. Board members, we're back. Another Valley of the Dead King episode when we last left off. We had camped in this spot next to the Frost Giant Jarl boss because we get a bonus now to fighting him. We, we kind of spent the entire turn camping in the cold winter uh, mountain area. At the end of that turn, the Dead King moved a little bit closer to the city here. That's his next target. However, at the end of every game turn, we were doing this kind of wrong. Bezel Quark is going to move. Once he showed up here at boss number two, he was supposed to stay on the board. So sometimes I would roll for him and he wouldn't show up. And then sometimes I rolled and he showed up. So give or take, sometimes he, sh we, he may have been closer to us and sometimes he may not have been. So who knows? But that's the way the adventure went. So now we press on. Bezel Cork here is going to move in the direction of the five, which is that way. Not very good for us. He's going to move three spaces. So I guess one, two, three, since there's nothing there. And that's where Bezel Cork will be. Very inconvenient in case we need him after this next boss fight. So that's what's going to happen here right away. We camped on purpose to get uh, fresh health here. Um, Thonk has 27 of 29. He's got three, six, nine of his... Oh, before the movement phase, he gets one energy and one health as we all do because of camping gear. Let's see, 22 of 24, so it gets another. Angelborn Uriah gets another there, 21 of 21. Pepper Pants gets one more health and one more energy. So we're close to full. So I think we're going to go ahead and take uh, our turn. Movement phase here is going to be just moving cautiously one space so we don't have to roll navigate. Now it's the skill phase for Pepper Pants. He succeeds on finding two gold, but does not succeed on his survival roll. So he would eat food if he does eat food, but he doesn't eat food, so he doesn't eat food. Hope you can follow all that. <laughs> and welcome again uh, once more to the boardroom. Okay, or well, that's Thonk's gold. Whoops, I forgot I put Thonk's gold up there. Let's move Thonk's gold over here. Kind of closer to his card. Araya is going to check for exploration and survival. She succeeds with exploration, succeeds with survival, does find a couple of gold for Araya. Now for a thunk. Succeeds and succeeds. Actually, critical success there. So everybody heals one hit point. He's now to full at 29. Pepper Pants is full at 17. Araya is full at 24. Super fortunate, and he does find four gold. Does not consume food because he succeeded at his survival. And that will be that. Um, okay. Since we've landed on a boss spot, that means we do not have a circumstance phase. Instead, we have boss fight. A big old boss fight. So this is going to be... Boss number, let's see if I get it right. Oh, you know what? I didn't. Oh, here we go. Right here. Boom. Frost Giant Jarl. So let's take a quick peek at the Frost Giant Jarl. 125 hit points. All right, so we got to move Thonk a little bit. Um, how are we going to do this? There's so much in the way now that the, the board has expanded. All right, let's see here. I guess Thonk can kind of go, the stats can go here, and where'd my battle mat go? Oh, there it is. 125 hit points. My, my, my. 100 energy. Okay, um, well we know what our fight is going to be. We are going to be <clears throat> Excuse me, we're going to be raging and pumping that up with Pepper Pants and defending some of this with Araya. So let's just start by doing that. So Thonk is going to rage for one energy. 
Um, that's going to deal... His rage damage is 34. Pepper Pants is going to boost that for 19. So that's 53. It's... it's um, favorite opponent damage from all of us because of us camping there. So let me just write down the 53 before I forget. 53. This is Thonk's attack alone. So 56 Thonk is getting. 56. Pepper Pants is getting 5. And Oriya is getting 8. She is doing the Reflected Assault, taking her down to 19 energy. So I haven't looked at the boss stats or, or abilities yet. I was kind of wanting to be surprised, so let's take a look and see what the boss does to us. It's a 3. Squashing Ants. Dual target, non-lethal health. The Jarl crushes two targets. Each suffers 20 health damage. If this attack would have killed the target, they become wounded. Holy smokes. All right, let's find out who the targets of this is because that is wild. I, uh, I gravely underestimated what this guy does. Blue is Berserker, green is Guardian, and yellow is uh, Pepper Pants. So it's Berserker and Guardian. Here's what we're going to do. Um, you reflect damage, you were an ally to suffer this round. Okay. Um, Araya is going to reflect the damage herself to herself, so she's going to deal 28. So 56, 61, 61 and 28 is 90. We're dealing 90 damage to this guy this round alone. That's quite the hurt. Um, but Thonk is taking all 20. Ouch. Um, Thonk, if you become targeted, your next attack becomes piercing and a damage boost equal to bash rank. Um, Rank 5, you may choose to become... Okay, if it's a single target, he can choose that. But for now, he can't. Okay, that uh, took 5 energy from the Frost Giant to do that big attack. Now we're moving on to uh, round 2. So anything, any healing that we want to do? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're going to save all this gear now that Bezel Cork is kind of moving away from us. So, we best get to Kraken. Another Enrage from Thonk that's going to deal 34. Then he's going to roll 7 more, making it 41. Pepper Pants is going to boost that 41 by 19, thus making it 60. That gives the, uh, the Frost Giant had 35 left. That's 60. Um, I think that's going to be enough to take care of him, even if he could defend. So Araya, once again, is going to Reflected Assault. It's uh, 17. This time she's going to reflect 35 of it, if it deals that much. Let's find out what the Frost Giant is going to do to us. Five. The Frost Giant, looks like it says Circling Reaper. That doesn't sound good. Circling sounds like it's going to hit everybody. Let's take a read and see what it does. Circling Reaver says, Group health and energy. Giant makes an incredible arcing attack with his axe. Each target suffers six health and six energy damage. Defending heroes can only defend against one type of damage this round. Well, we are not defending. Um, <clears throat> we are doing other stuff. So, Circling Reaver, six health and six energy. All right. Um, that's going to take Thonk down to three. And one, two, three, four, five, two energy. She will block Pepper Pants. She'll take six. One, two, three, four. 18, five, six. She's down to 18 health and six energy there. Uh, she's deflected the health, but not the energy. So he's going to take six energy damage down to nine. Oh, uh, favored target health. It doesn't really matter. Um, we dealt enough to, to kill him, so we have bested the Frost Giant Jarl. Okay. With him gone, let's find out what these rewards are.
plus five to any stat of your choice, and one celerity potion. Let's see who gets them. We've got to re-roll the two tens here. It's between Pepper Pants and Thonk. And Pepper Pants with the win gets plus five to a stat of his choice. Why, yes, that's going to be hit points, of course. Now that I know people are hitting in the 20s, he now has 22 hit points. 22. Celerity Potion for Thonk. He now has two of those. I bought one. Um, only one maybe used per combat. Okay, well, maybe you give one to Araya. I just write it as haste. So he'll give that to Araya. We each get four cards, 20 gold. So, 20, 20, and 20. At some point, gold doesn't really do us much good. Uh, there is something we can do with it in future expansions, but in the Valley of the Dead King, I don't know that the gold does us much good after a certain point where we have everything that we want. Um, it is time to deal out four cards. Let's get a order here randomly. Thonk up first, Araya next, Peppa Pants last. All right, Thonk, what four cards are you getting? One, two, three, four. He's getting three health, two attack total. Um, okay, so three health takes him to 32. And he gets three health, so he's at six here. Whew. Um, two more attack takes his bash to 20. One more defense takes that to nine. And one more explorer takes it to 12. So now he crits on a hex two, three. Okay. Now we, oh, one plus one. First mastery, 13 rage. That's good because now his rage damage is going to go up quite a bit. Uh, 20, 33, one health, oh, 33. I think I had that down wrong, maybe? Well, we did 60 damage when he only had 35 health left, so I'm not worried about that too much. Okay. Going to, this quest token is being troublesome at best. Now it is Araya. One, two, three, four. Two to second mastery, good. It's more reflected assault. One cleave, 22. I'm gonna make that look a little better. Make it look a lot better. 22. And then plus two to her choice. I'm going all hit points. You know, it's not it's not our damage that's going to kill us, it's our lack of health. 26. Alright, so reflected assault is now shield plus that. 17 and 17 is 34. Okay. Pepper pants. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, he got some good stuff. Whopping three energy. Takes him up to 12 here, but is down 10 total. 12 of 22. Okay. Look at this, plus one to all skills, plus one to all abilities, and plus two defense. So 16 defense now, to the, the, this one. Nine, Clockwork Assault. Fourteen and thirteen here. Fourteen. Thirteen. Power Bot is, this says twenty-two. 
uh, all skills plus one, so it's 11, 14, 10. 11, 14, and 10. Okay, that takes care of Pepper Pants reward. So let's see what happens as a result of besting the Frost Giant here. It's always a bit of story to unfold in this game, and I, I love that about it. The ground rumbles and the trees shake as Gathard falls to the ground. The frozen axe lays at his side, no longer gripped by his hungry fingers. For a moment, you wait, unsure of his demise, afraid the giant will stand once more. Yet he lies utterly still. Chilled to the bone, you start a small fire and attempt to warm yourself. Some hours later, and shaking off the cold, you snuff your fire, scatter its ashes, and begin the long trek from this frozen waste, certain that you will never willingly return here. All right, so that's... That is, um, that's that fight with the Frost Giant Jarl. Uh, let's see, where do we go from here? Oh, well, that's the, uh, the event phase. So now we have the villain phase. Um, I was wondering if Donk wants to drink a handy elixir. Is that what it's called? The handy elixir heals more, I believe. Six health and six energy outside of combat. Yeah, let's go ahead and have him drink that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight energy and six more health gives him 12 health. I actually don't think we are going to hightail it out of here. We're going to um, camp here. I think that's going to be best for this particular turn. Uh, that's all I'm drinking. So the villain here the undead king is going to move two spaces towards what is that what is that town name that one is the rock toe encampment where shaman uh, dregnak and the orcs live so it's going to move twice one two one plus the number of fallen cities then bezel cork he's always on the move hex uh is straightforward so i guess it goes this way, or I mean, we can put. Can we put something here? Looks like we sure can. Uh, no, we can't. It doesn't look like it. I was hoping maybe this would fit. So straightforward. How far? Three. One, two, three. So he's just got himself a little path that he's taking. Don't know where he's going. Um. Okay. Do we have a teleportation stone? We do. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're, we are going to camp here. So before the movement phase, we heal one health. Oh. He's looking for a 13 on this. He's got 12, so now he's got 13. So we'll do a 10. And a 3. And one energy. One health. One energy. Uh, is that 22 or 22? So just one energy, 13. But then we're going to, since we're camping, getting three energy and three health back, three energy. So 15 energy here. 22 health here. Three more is 16 health here. And energy is now full. Three, three six, nine. Oh, one, two, three energy, not one. Energy is full, health is not. Um, we're camping, so since we're camping, we get a bonus to our skill sets here by one. Let's roll for our skill phase. Pepper Pants. Succeeds in finding gold. And uh, does not consume food. Oriah does not find gold. However, we got our first critical success. critical critical success for the day, which does heal the entire party one energy. Thank you for that. And that's her turn. Now Thunk. 
He got a critical success. Critical success. On three right there, which means we heal another energy. 17 and 18. Thanks so much for joining me on the live stream. I do appreciate it. How's it going with you? Oh, he also got two gold. I'm telling you, we're going to have to donate all this gold to Undead Charity. So we waited there. Now it's the circumstance phase because we didn't move. We can choose to discard the circumstance if we don't like it or want to deal with it. Let's find out. Five. It's going to be cursed. I'm telling you right now, I don't want to deal with it. Um, so we're going to discard that phase. Or discard that card since we can't. Ooh, lucky rabbit's foot showed up. Don't know when or if we're going to get to that, but that's what showed up. Since we discarded that in the circumstance phase, that's going to take us to the villain phase. I believe. Yep. The villain phase is the dead king who's going to move two more towards the Rockto encampment. One, two. Then Bezel Quark is going to be on the move towards the three. He's coming back straight back down. Two hexes. One, two. Guess he didn't find any good customers there. And that will complete the round. Uh, another round here. One health for everyone and one energy prior to the movement phase of our camping gear. One energy. 19. We're not camping again, though. We're getting out of here. I know there's a 19. Somewhere. 18. For Araya. And this. Okay, so in the movement phase, I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> is drink a potion with pepper pants. It's a regular old potion. Healing him three energy. He's full. Um, 20. Just saw it. Dog on it. 22 energy. Oriya will do the same. Drink a potion. 21. There she's full energy. Thonk will drink a potion instead of energy. I mean, he gets three energy and three health, but he's full on energy. He's going to get three health. Uh, 20. We'll just put it like that. 20 for now. Movement phase. Do we want to just go after the dead king? I'm really thinking we do here. See if I can find. Some kind of mood for this. You guys let me know in the chat. Should we go after this dead king? Let's do it. Try one more thing here. Sorry about the delay. Here we go. Movement phase. We healed up. We drank some potions. Um, I think what we'll just do is teleport 
right to his space, we have a teleportation stone here with Oriah. And I think it's just time. It's time we put this dead king to rest, eternal rest. It goes 16 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, we have defeated this boss. So, uh, one last hurrah. Boss fight. That's right, it's our last boss fight. This is going to be Undead King. That guy. Or the Dead King, not the Undead King. He's going to be undead. Wait, if the dead becomes undead, does that mean they're dead? 180 hit points. Huh. Okay. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is Thonk's not fully healed. He's got 32 that he can he heal up to. Maybe he should have drank. Drank? Drank? Maybe he should have drank that troll blood. Maybe we'll have him drink that first out of the gate. 180 hit points. Whew. 120 energy. I'm not looking at what he does. You guys can read it there on the screen, but I'm going to... Oh, can he only be defeated with uh, using the talisman? Let's see what the book has to say about the dead king. With confidence, you approach the Necromancer, knowing that your quest is about to end in glorious victory or terrifying unholy resurrection. The dead king stands before you, emanating a vile and strange power. A sharp crown rests upon his brow, and a staff clutched in his hand. He smiles and tilts his head. I have heard of you. Whispers of your exploits traverse the valley nearly as quickly as you do. He bows and gazes forward with a covetous eye. I must admit that I am honored to meet you and humbled to know that soon you will join my legion. He laughs and raises the staff, the dark power growing. Do what you must, but know this is where your story ends and begins anew. No sooner do the necromancer's words leave his mouth as he rushes forward, the power of death at his back. Okay. Um, I didn't see anywhere that says we needed to have it. I know on the cities we have to have it. Uh, search for the Bone Legion. That's moderately or difficulty greater. Okay, here we go. Uh, Thonk. He's gonna use, unfortunately, Snarling Defense, spending one energy, no, no energy, to drink his Troll Blood. He's gonna heal six and six every round, so he's at 26 health. Oriya is going to use two energy, he's down to 19. To use Reflected Assault and Pepper Pants will do Automated Defense. Now he is a favorite enemy of Pepper Pants and Thonk, so they get to do this. We've got one Hexplosion. That's, uh, we'll just call this Peppers. So that's 9 damage from, uh, well, 10, 14 from Pepper and 5. So yeah, 19 damage total. Let's see what the Dead King does. A one. Triple target health and navigate. Okay, let's all make our navigation rolls real quick. Everybody succeeded. Three targets suffer 10 health damage. If anyone fails, they become trapped. We did not fail. All right, so we've got three targets taking 10 damage. Uh, Thonk is taking one because his defense is a 9. He's down to 25. That's okay. He's going to be up to 31 in full health and full energy next round. Pepper takes none. He's got 16 defense. And Oriya here is going to block her own, thus reflecting 10 back to the king. So 29. So 151 is where the dead king sits for the moment. He used his undead horde to attack us. Now, it's time for Thonk to enrage. He pays one energy. He rages for 33. Pepper Pants spends two energy. 
to raise it by 22, he's doing 55. 55 plus his favorite enemy is 60, so he's dealing 60 damage. Good old thonk. Pepper Pants is adding four more. Hmm. Araya could cleave for 25 right now. But she's got to be the guardian. She has to do that. 17. She's going to guard this. Let's find out what the Dead King decides to do. Hex. A murder of crows. Group health. Each hero suffers four piercing health damage, and the Dead King unleashes a swarm of crows. Each hero is surrounded. This time... Uh, each time this is rolled, add one to the surrounded damage suffered. This damage cannot be reflected or negated. Okay. Each hero suffers four, and then each hero surrounded. Each time this is rolled, add one to surrounded damage. Okay, so we've got one. So now i got to put a little one in that box down at the bottom to remind myself how much this dealt. We dealt him 64, so that's 147, 87. 87 left. We all took four piercing. Um, oh, but Thonk healed to 31, so he's down to 27. And he got his energy back. Three, six, nine, eight. He's got his energy back for sure, because of troll blood. Pepper's taking four piercing. One, two, three, four. And then I guess it's five because of... Uh, that extra swarm damage to so 26. It's okay, it's going to be healed up to full next round. Oriya is taking five. One, two, three, four, five. None of this was blockable due to it being piercing. Oh wait, this is reflected. Uh, she's going to reflect Pepper Pants. Give him his health back. Uh, 21. And reflect it onto. Dead King. Now Pepper Pants' uh, power bot next round is plus two. Oriya adds ten for her favorite enemy damage. Keep forgetting. Wait, she's not a favorite enemy. She does not add that. Just Pepper Pants and Thonk are favorite enemies of undead creatures. Okay, a lot to remember. Here we go. Thonk. Spending one energy. He heals six from his last troll blood dose. So he's at 32. So we'll say he heals first, then he spends the energy. So he's down one. Uh, he's dealing 33 damage. Uh, plus his favorite enemy damage. Four, so he's dealing 37. Plus Pepper's gonna use that. Goes down to 18. 33 and 22. That's 55. So we got 55 on him. Uh, no. 58. Nope, three more because of being boosted by Oriya's Reflected Assault last round. 61. And then Oriya is going to reflect again. 15 energy. She's not a favorite enemy, so let's see what the Undead King does. Another Hex. Well, Poopy. Uh, we now have a 2 in that column. So it's going to do 4, 6 piercing health. Oh, Surrounded means something, too. I think we have to roll a skill for that. Suffer 2 piercing health damage at the beginning of the declaration. Oh, no, that's what that is. Okay. So we all would have suffered... Bonk would be down two more to 30. Pepper would be down two more to 19. And Araya down two more to 17. I think. Um, but it's at two now for sure. So I think I took one damage too many. Um, but that's what he did. Now we're taking four piercing each. So Thonk is going to be down to 26. He has to take that. Um, Araya is down to... 13. She's going to block the 4 on Pepper, putting it on the Dead King for 65. So 65 here is leaving him with 17 health. OK. 
Okay. Um, we're pretty good on resources. I think Araya is going to have to tower shield and drink a potion here. Troll blood. Uh, so she will do that. Troll blood. She's going to heal six health and six energy. She's at 19 health and 21. She's backed up to full energy. Oh, wait. Uh, she's going to take two piercing, so she's down to 17 from being surrounded. Pepper takes two piercing from being surrounded. Um, Thonk, two piercing from being surrounded. Those murder of crows, they are something else. Thonk will enrage for one. He's going to sacrifice some health. He can sacrifice up to 32, uh, wait, 26. He can sacrifice up to 26 health. So he's doing 33 damage um, with rage. Well, let's see what he gets to. 33 and 3 is 36. 36 and 22 is 58. Um, and I think, oh, 58 plus 3 is 61. Yeah, I think that was a good call. We'll just leave it there, 61 off of this 17. Now, that sounds like it's great, but there are some things the Dead King can do here to block a ton of damage, negate all the damage. We'll just see what the Dead King decides to do. Does number two, and there it is, the Bone Legion summons them. Group survival, heroes who succeed deal half damage to the Dead King. Those who fail have their attacks negated. This is where it's awful. Uh, this is group survival. Well, she didn't attack, so she won't need to roll survival because she didn't have a, a damage. So we've got Pepper Pants. So it's a survival, it says. His survival is 10, so he fails on a 10. He succeeds with a critical success. Critical success. Uh, Thonk the Berserker here. He fails. <laughs> All right, so let's take off his damage. It's only going to deal three from Pepper Pants, who rolled three favorite opponent damage. Wow. And did I call that one? I'm glad I didn't sacrifice his health. That was at least smart. The Bone Legion rarely absorbed, what was that, 60 some odd damage right there? Incredible. Good news is it's the start of another round. We each take two piercing, 22 uh, for Thonk, 15 for Pepper. Why I said good news is it's 15 for Araya, but she has her second um, of three doses of her troll blood. So she's at 21 in full energy. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, actually, why don't we just all out attack here? It could be awful, but let's do it. Thonk is going to rage and he's going to sacrifice 10 health. So he's going to do 43. I gotta keep this damage separate now that I know he does that. 43 and seven is 50. Um, Pepper Pants actually will go ahead and use Enhance our, uh, those bots. So 50 and 22 is 72. So Thonk is actually doing the 72. Um, and then he, Pepper, is doing eight. Araya will cleave, um, which she'll cleave for 25. No, she just defended. She won't cleave for 25. She's just going to cleave for 22. And let's find out what the Dead King does. Number four, that's a new one. Essence of Death costs him eight energy. The first time that the Dead King has spent energy this fight. Essence of Death, group energy. The Dead King siphons the hero's life essence. Each hero suffers 12 energy drain. One target begins to decay. Um, well, one target begins to decay. His rage lets him um, become the target of an individual target attack this round. Hmm, I wonder if that qualifies. Let's say it does. Decay cannot kill a target, nor can it re be reflected or negated. Okay, no problemo. So group energy siphons 12 energy from all of us. So Thonk's energy is all gone. He only had three, six, nine left. Nothing we do about that. 
Mariah loses 12, she's down to 9 energy. Pepper loses 12, he's down to 4 energy. Wow, we actually had enough energy to absorb all that and not take health overage. Um, however, we dealt the Dead King 80, 102 damage. So that bests the Dead King. Let's take a look at what happens when the Dead King falls. No, something happens. Necromantic power arcs like lightning all around you, cutting through the air and threatening to bring you to your knees. The Dead King is intent on crushing your will. He walks forward and raises his hands and attempts to drain you of what little life you have left. His maniacal expression oozes both hatred and scorn as he exclaims, Give in! Soon you will belong to me! The hope of the valley and all who have fought to live within ride upon your shoulders. There is no giving in. You wipe sweat from your brow and stand a little taller, preparing for yet another attack. The dead king glares at you as you defy him yet again, then raises his staff in an arc that traces the battlefield. Confident in his victory, more of the Bone Legion answers when suddenly you sprint forward, taking him by surprise. With satisfaction, you note the look of dismay and horror that crosses the necromancer's face as you deliver the final blow. He screams defiantly, and blinding, putrid yellow light erupts across the battlefield, momentarily blinding you. As your vision returns, you see him on his knees, green blood spilling from his mouth. He stares in anger and disbelief, words seeming to finally escape him. He grips his staff and holds himself steady while continuing to stare. A shaky hand points in your direction and coughs. You! <coughs> How? You do not give him the satisfaction of an answer, and once more rush forward to finish your quest. With the final blow dealt, the dead king falls, his body limp and inanimate. The wind suddenly gathers below him, lowering as his body quickly decays and turns to dust. After a few moments, it's all over. His pointed crown, the only remnant left. The enchantment he spread over the land dissipates, and the shadowy veil lifts from the world around you. For the first time since you set out on this journey, you notice the warmth of the sun on your skin and the smell of fresh air. The valley rejoices, finally freed from the power of the dead king. Sadness creeps over you when you realize that the people he commanded would never be the same. It is then that the staff withers and turns to ash. A great burst of force issues out as it disintegrates. As the burst continues forth, you see it pass over the fallen. They begin to breathe. Perhaps you've saved the valley after all. With a smile, you look at each other and begin to help those who are rising. Only this time, they're free. And that concludes the campaign, Valley of the Dead King. Explore it. A great game. You definitely need to play it. It was awesome. Thank you, Thonk, Araya, Pepper Pants, for helping defeat the Dead King once and for all. Hopefully he stays dead like he was last time. We escaped with a lot of gold. I think we earned one Valor as well. Valor carries over from game to game. So when we decide to explore again, we get Valor points, and Valor points give you certain little perks. I don't think they're anything huge, but they do give us bonuses that carry over from campaign to campaign. Thanks, everybody, for tuning into the live stream. I do appreciate it. And if you're catching this on the YouTube playback, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more episodes. Thanks again, and as always, we'll see you at the next boardroom meeting.